but many were thrown by last night's events as they assumed Brooke and Sien would make it into the final four. As she made her exit from the bungalow, Brooke blurted out she had not seen this many people in 50 days, it is so weird, before heading over to give her full interview. Asked if she was disappointed not to make the final hurdle, Brooke admitted, I love them all, and I want them to be there, everything I went in there to do I did. I did not come here solely to be in the final or win. I came here to make connections. I am never that emotional, but I cried more in there than in the past few years of my life. But the shocks didn't stop there, as Emma then moved on to tell the house Yan had also been evicted by the public. Despite the bombshell, Sian managed to take it in her stride and only had good things to say about the rollercoaster experience. I feel calm right now, so I will be all right. One person wrote, seeing that final eviction and seeing Rylan Clark Neil cry, it's so emotional. I felt that. I hope a channel bring it back, but with the same hosts Rylan Emma. Number BBUK number BBBOTS at Buck. A W W W wanted Brooke in the final. Such a cool lovely girl number Buck, another said. A third agreed, wow, I didn't expect Brooke to get the least amount of votes. I personally feel like she should have been in the final over Zoe and Sian. Number BBUKX. A fourth exclaimed, no way. Honestly thought they were going to win. At Matt and Hard at Buck. Big Brother returns Sunday night at 10. 30 p.m. on Channel 5 for a bumper long edition. The hugely popular reality series is gearing up for its last ever episode on Monday night on Channel 5 when 18 year old blogger Cameron Cullen customer service agent Yan Kerrigan, 23, will be battling it out against Kara Zo Jones, 31, and 26 year old training consultant Akeem Griffiths to be the winner.